Mm, you are an inquisitive lot, aren't you? So many questions. And this is our last chance to put the housemates under the spotlight. What is the one thing you crave the most? Two things that go hand in hand. My mum's lasagna and a beer. You've become very close with Estelle, but she's also become very close with Sam. <laughs> yes, that's just true also. I don't like these questions. Why is that? Oh, they just make me feel uneasy. Michael, what's the go with you and Estelle? Um, probably the same things between Sam and Estelle and any other guy in the house with Estelle. Would you rather be gossiped about or never talked about at all? I'd rather be gossiped about. Um, they say all publicity is good publicity. Anyway, it's a good memory of mine. I'll tell you another time. Stop talking. Let's get to it. Big Brother's little sister starts listening now. Michael. Beside you is a DVD player that contains a message from your brother, Daryl. Oh, God. <laughs> Bloody dags. <sighs> Michael, mate, how's it going? Real big brother here. <laughs> um, really watching. <laughs> What surprised you the most about your time in the Big Brother house? I think I never thought I'd really feel emotion in here. I thought it was just going to be a bit of it. Like, I liked sitting at home watching reality TV. When people cry, I'm like, you absolute D-bag. Like, I'm just like, what does it matter with you? You're on a reality TV show. Stop being a sook. But when I got that video from my brother, I don't know what it was. I think it was because I was up for nomination. And I just lost the plot. And being up for nomination, like, in the outside world, I'd be like, suck it up, sweetheart. You're on a game show, you get nominated. But I was actually going through all these weird emotions and it was like concerning. I knew I'd laugh, I knew I'd meet some freaky people and I'd make some friends, but I didn't think that I'd be feeling the, the sort of the broad spectrum of emotions that I have felt in this house. What's the one thing that has surprised you about your time in the house? Um, the biggest thing that surprised me is me crying. Like I'm not a crier. Didn't think it was gonna be this emotional. Didn't think I was going to get this attached um, to people at all. You know, you think a week is nothing, or two weeks is nothing. It's actually a really long time in here when you're in here 24 hours a day, seven days a week with these people. You know, I just feel like I'm on this roller coaster though, and I, um, I'm just hoping that I'm wearing a seatbelt and um, that I'm enjoying the ride. You can actually go from like euphoric and a crazy high to a really tired and emotional low. You just, the ability, like the way that your body will respond to things before your mind even responds. I have cried a lot in this house, which is so out of character for me. I'm not a very emotional person on the outside, so I've cried a fair bit in here, just not me. Why do you think you've cried so much? I found, found a heart amongst all this big furry shag pal rug. Yeah, that's what they're called, so I wasn't swearing. I have a heart in here, and I've learned how to use it. What's your greatest memory of your time in the house? The greatest memory for me <laughs> was having my birthday in the house. You probably saw that I cried a little bit that night because I was so happy and that was genuine in that I'd, I've never really been able to celebrate a birthday like 16th, 18th, 21st, you know, I probably haven't celebrated a birthday since I was eight. So to have my 24th birthday in here, you know, hip hop themed, a bit of bling and the absolute attention to detail that was taken based on me was just... I'm so grateful for. Not everyone can say they had a birthday in the Big Brother house. And I mean, did you check that jacket, little sis? It was pretty pimping. Oh, I checked that jacket. I you checked it. What's one thing people in the outside world would be surprised to discover about the Big Brother house? That maybe things aren't always as they seem. Um, when it comes to people in here, some people have stayed longer than some other, like than most of us feel is necessary to stay. 
And I think if Australia saw them 24 hours a day, seven days a week, they would also wonder why some people were still here. Go on, name names. Estelle. Can you try to explain Estelle? I don't think I could. I don't know how to explain her. She is a weird person. Um, she has these... Like, she has these personas that... You know, these personalities, but she plays to them too much. Like, she knows she's got them. She knows what they, that they, you know, there's something there that maybe annoys people and she's like, oh, that's a good thing, at least I'm getting noticed. I like horse Estelle. If there's any Estelle I like, it's horsey Estelle. But everything else, I just want to just go shh, put my finger up to her mouth and stop her talking. <laughs> it's crazy, hey, like, I didn't, I actually didn't think coming in here was going to be this draining and this tough. I just kept thinking maybe they tried to make it this draining and this tough so that it was easy when you get evicted. It's a good way to look at it. Has this experience been anything like what you expected? Nothing like what I expected. <laughs> um, I, I don't know what I was expecting. I think like a lot of Australia, it might seem like this whole experience comes together like a music video and it looks like a lot of fun and it feels very controlled and that you're always on this ride of enjoyment, where when you get into this house, you realise that you're stripped of everything that you have from the outside world except for your clothes, and then you forget all of... Um, you forget so much of who you are when you're put up against such big people, such incredible personalities. You start to then look at yourself very differently. And for someone who's 32, it almost feels like someone picked me up and took me back to school and then I had to do everything all over again. I think everyone in Australia watches Big Brother and at some point thinks, oh yeah, I could do that. But I'd, someone came up to me and said, I'm auditioning for Big Brother. I'd be like, no, <laughs> wait, have a think about it. What is it that you want to do this for? Because this is going to be the most challenging thing that ever happened to you and it's going to be the best. After the break, Michael remembers. Yeah, I think the great cake sitting of 2012 is probably my favourite memory. For Sam to win Big Brother, dial 1902 559516. SMS Sam to 199 For Zoe to win Big Brother, dial 1902 559514. SMS Zoe to 199 For Benjamin to win Big Brother, dial 1902 559502. SMS Benjamin to one double nine double five triple nine, or vote on Facebook. Michael, remember Ray? Remember Ray? Oh my God! I just had the weirdest dream. Remember Ray? Mm. Chuck Hammond, anyone? Oh my god, this chocolate is beautiful. Oh Sam, you never got to meet Ray, did you? Is it weird for you to think of other people who have shared this big brother yeah. experience but you haven't met them? It is. I mean when when Ray walked in the other day and we had to ignore him, he looked at me and he said, Who's this guy? I felt like saying, Who are you? It is kind of weird because I haven't I haven't shared the experience with them. And I mean I've been here longer than, than most of them. So it is very strange and I look, I mean, I do look forward to meeting them. What's your greatest moment from your time in the house? Just playing cricket was really good. Like I thought that was a great way to spend time with the guys in the house and get to know each other. Oh! <laughs> so my first greatest moment was when we did the chili. Marcus, Marcus, did you take the snow? I had like drool dribbling down my face. I was like, gonna be sick. And then Stacey was about to eat the chilli. And I was like, don't do it, Stacey, don't. Don't eat the chilli, in my accent. And then everyone, like, laughs at it now. <laughs> so that's probably my, one of my favourites, because it's just, like, a funny thing. And um, my second one is the cake fight. Yeah, I think the great cake sitting of 2012 is probably my favourite memory. <laughs> That is probably one of my greatest moments of all time. It's just something special 
about sitting on a cake in front of 12 other people. It was hilarious. Throwing that cake, oh, it was just the best feeling ever because you knew we knew that it was naughty, but it was good. And the coming together after the whole House 2 debacle, that was really uplifting in a house sense. Housemates, there is no House 2. You have passed this week's task. Finding out that there was no house too, that was amazing. Because <laughs> that had been a really stressful week for everybody. And then just to find out and we all jumped in the pool was so good, it was the funniest. Then after almost three months in the house, what is the one thing from the outside world, other than your family and friends, that you crave? I think I'm just craving my independence. Just the ability to get in the car, or to go for a run somewhere new is stolen from you in a way. There's only so many times you can do a loop around that pool. <laughs> Have you seen me running around the pool? Oh, well, I've seen you. <laughs> Yay! When I first got to the Big Brother house, I saw everyone in the pool and I <laughs> slunk into the pool from one end because I was so traumatised about my body um, and sort of sort of hovered at this level so so that I could just hide the whole thing. And then now I sort of find myself um, understanding why Ryan looked at himself in the mirror so much. <laughs> oh, dear. Are you telling me you've been checking what's going on there? <laughs> you mean you don't want to get with this? <laughs> um, yes, I have been looking at myself. <laughs> I'm shameful. Lola, Big Brother would never argue with you. Uh -huh. I would never argue with you too. Best uh, best friends for life, yeah. For ever, you know, like how you do that for, and then the ever. B B. B F Fs forever. Layla, what will you miss from your time on Big Brother? I think when I leave the house, I'm going to struggle with not having Big Brother, like. It's so nice to be able to come in the diary room and talk to Big Brother. Maybe he can call you once a week. Yeah. It'll help, honestly. Or even when I'm shopping, I'll be like, oh, can I just send you a picture message? Which one would you prefer? What sort of item would you send him a picture message of? Shoes. My favourite. I'd be like, which shoes should I get? These ones or these ones? Like, he probably will text back saying, any, I'm not bothered. But it's always nice to or call me, this is Big Brother. I don't care what shoes you buy. <laughs> it's just nice to even have that. I could help him. The tables could turn, finally, and Big Brother might want to ask me for advice. Ben, tell me about the weird things in the Big Brother house that you found yourself conditioned to. Um, things that are weird and wonderful in the Big Brother house. Weird things. Well, I went to boarding school. So showering with people, next to you is I'm okay with, like I'm, I'm used to that. Girls being in there, that's another story, it wasn't all boys school. Microphones is a big thing, um, not wearing a watch, that's weird. Not being able to look at, you know, not being able to know the time is another weird thing. The amount of farting, burping and general gross um, behaviour that people will do in front of everyone, you know, just with no shame. Someone will fart right next to you and you're just like, oh yeah, fair enough. Seeing someone just go, <laughs> out of the back door, you're like, that's weird. That's a weird feeling. Waking up to the loudest possible rock music ever. Controlled showers, controlled food, controlled everything except for the weather. It's the only thing that's not controlled. Not having to carry a phone and wallet, um, I find weird and it's going to be, I'm probably going to lose my wallet as soon as I get out of here. I haven't felt real grass for three months, um, so getting out of the AstroTurf will be odd. Not wearing shoes. I actually feel weird now when I put on shoes. Talking to a beautiful blonde lady on Sunday night, I don't do that very often in the outside world. Not as often as I'd like to. After the break, then who do you want to win Big Brother? For Estelle to win Big Brother, dial 1902 559505. SMS Estelle to 199 for Layla to win Big Brother, dial 1902 559508. SMS Layla to 199 559. For Michael to win Big Brother, 
Dial 1902 559509. SMS Michael to 199 Or vote on Facebook. Three, two, one, zero. Do you think it would be fair for you to win Big Brother as well? Oh, it's a question that's been going through my mind a lot lately. Uh, probably everybody thinks no, actually. Yeah. But what do you think? Uh, probably no as well. <gasps> I kind of don't feel like I've got the right to be here anymore because I won the call. Do you really think that? Yeah, like, I've won a call. Like, who's going to want me to win the, win the big brother? Nobody. When Stella came in here, she said she wasn't in here to make any friends, get new, make any new friends. She's got her friends and her family. She wants $250,000. So if that's what it takes for her to get $250,000, we can sit here and talk about how we're not going to compromise who we are for $250,000 and be like, ooh, it's fantastic. <laughs> but when she drives past us in a Ferrari and gives us the finger and throws a latte on us, and we have to, <laughs> we, we have to get the bus. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Then... Who do you want to win Big Brother? Um, you know, this question comes across your mind every day because these people's faces are in your face every day. Who do I want? I want me to win Big Brother, obviously. That would be sick. I think anyone would be lying if they said they didn't want themselves to win. I would have to say myself. Is it bad that I'm so driven to win? No. Good. I would have to say myself. I'd probably say either Sam or Layla because I believe that the two of them have their journey in here, whether long or short, is one where they have not, you know, tr stepped on people to get to where they're going. Zoe, at this particular point, is someone who I think is just an incredible person and I would feel honoured and proud if she won Big Brother. I think I won... Zoe to win. Why is that? Zoe's a real genuine girl. She's got a heart of gold. She's, she would help you any time of the day. I want Benjamin to win Big Brother. Zoe, who do you think will win? Um, probably Estelle. <laughs> I don't know, that'd be, that'd be all their luck. <laughs> I think Estelle will win. Like, I reckon she's played the part pretty good. I think the top three will probably be Layla, Estelle and Sam. I feel like Layla will probably win Big Brother. She can't be anything else than the person that she is and there's something beautiful about that particular girl. I think it's either going to be Layla or it could even be Michael. Michael may win Big Brother. He's very um, strategic in, and very good at presenting himself. Yeah, Layla... Um... Why is that? I don't like these questions. <laughs> Why is that? Oh, they just make me feel uneasy. Zoe, does it make you think differently about yourself to have lasted this long? Yeah, for sure. Um, absolutely. I don't know what people think of me. All I know is what I think of myself, and at the moment, from being here and lasting this long, it's good things. So um, I think the longer I last and the longer I'm here, the more positive I'll be about myself. Even if I do leave, who cares? I'm still, I've still won. I have gained more than I ever thought I could have out of this experience. I'm going to leave here not the shy, timid uh, person who would avoid going out of a night with her mates because I felt like I looked terrible and things like that. I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to be like, yes, let's go do this, let's go do that and not even care. You know, and just embrace life. This is Big Brother. Housemates, as you know, Big Brother is always watching and listening. Naughty corner. Report to the naughty corner immediately. Peaches and cream, baby. Peaches and cream. Big Brother, I'm sorry. It's your last day in the Big Brother house. <laughs> and Big Brother isn't around to 
keep an eye on you. You can do anything you want. What do you do? If Big Brother wasn't here, I would go and open up all these doors and go and see from Big Brother's perspective how it all works. I take every bit of furniture out into the yard and I build the best damn fort you've ever seen. I'd love to be able to, you know, come over the loudspeaker and be like, Sam, stop singing. You have a terrible voice. <laughs> go to the diary room and do 10 push-ups. I would bring all my mates. I'd bring my roommates, my best mates, my sister. I'd bring my family. I'd bring people I work with. Everybody I knew, I would bring to the Big Brother house and have a massive party. Hey Estelle, stop flirting with Sam. Sam already has a girlfriend and it's Layla. Shame on you. Do 10 push-ups. I would dance around and I would sing and I would jump on the beds and I would dance on the bench tops and I would get in, somehow get in through this hatch and find out what is behind there. I would sing lots of music. And we'd have Delilah sitting on a little perch and we'd sing songs in there. No one would tell us that we couldn't sing them. I would put the music on so loud. I'd get my iPod, put all my favourite songs on and put it through all the speakers in the house. And then maybe I'd do a flip into the pool, just because I can. That's what, that's what I would do. Let's have a little fun today. <laughs> <laughs>